Welcome to uh, Trust Levels, you know, big trust, big levels. I am Cam Jordan, New Orleans Saints defensive end, a man on a mission, a man who went to, you know, UCB. And if you don't know what UCB is, don't look at, don't worry about it. UCB, you see me. University of California at Berkeley, it is what it is. Um, and I'm sitting, here with, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here with my guy, my dog, my brother from another mother, uh, my ace for the last, you know, eight years when we was playing with the Saints together before he took off and did some other things and going to other teams, but he gonna come back home eventually. My dog, Mark Ingram the second. Appreciate you, Cam. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what it is. Legendary yeah, 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 intro yeah. king. Get to it. Get to the get 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 to the special guest. And we as got. we sitting here, you a co-host to co-host. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about uh, you know a wide receiver who does the most in the post. We talking Ooh. about a dude, nothing but bands on bands on bands from high school to the league. That's what he does. He put up stats and he doesn't get recognized. He's under he, he's deservingly so of being so underrated because all he does is ball. He don't get the call, but he gonna put them stats up and make it all around. We talk about my dog, Marv Jones Jr., uh, wide receiver, fifth round out of, you know, went to Cincinnati, played with Muhammad Sanu, A.J. Green, and they was a top-tier offense. Went ahead and, and, you know, just got done with the Detroit Lions. And I was trying to get my dog to come to New Orleans Saints, but he decided to go to Snacksonville. And I say Snacksonville because he got Trevor Lawrence out there dishing them meals out properly. Yes, sir. What's up, y'all? Hey, thanks for having me, man. I feel like I'm big time right now. I'm on I'm on big trust. Levels. Big trust. Levels. Levels. Hear me. Delivered by Pizza Hut. Hey, when I when I tell you, bro, like it's been such an honor to watch you, you know, grow up, do the things you do, bro. We we went to Cal together. Um, caught some years together back in the day. Man was a true freshman coming off the rip because you know that's just how we do. Was y'all uh, same recruiting class? No, no, no. I'm I'm two years older. Yeah, I'm a year back. So he was he was okay. You were seven, so, I was oh eight. Did yeah. you host? Did he host you? Who was your host? At? Oh okay. no, but we but we I mean we hit it off fast. You know what I'm okay. saying? Once we went to the party, you know yeah. you know. It was over from then. Yeah. Y'all was at the black party together that uh, Yaya was telling us about what that was called. Oh, you talking about Black Wednesday? No, that's, yeah, see, that's Black, Black Wednesday is, is a primarily Wednesday thing. You don't get to taste that until you get to the college. You don't know yeah, nothing yeah. about it. But he comes in on like, you know, Friday you know, or Thursday, you know, so he gets a little feel. We go out Friday, you know, we got to prepare for the game Saturday. He sees the game, then we really go out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and it doesn't really matter who your, who your, your recruit er is, you know what I'm saying? We're going to end up at the same function. Yeah, and we're going we to vibe. But we, we was vibing ever since. So, you know, yeah. it, it was a good hey. night. And I, hey, it was a good night because I, I recruited after the day. After. <laughs> hey, hey, good job, definitely. <laughs> hey, hey, had to do a great job, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, and just that recruiting class was pretty legendary in itself. Um, you know, I had my little cousin in there, Mark Anthony. Um, there was some, there were some dogs in that class. But when you think about, bro, the offense that we had at Cal between Marv Jones and then a year later you would have Keenan Allen. Mm. Uh, that shit was going. Bad. I bet best. Shane, Shane Vereen. Yeah. Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he came in, Justin Forsett was there, and like, he had to leave because Javid Best was on his heels. Like, he <laughs> Javid was toting that rock, boy. <laughs> toting that Javid. pill. Javid was toting that rock. He was like that, bro. Oh, bro. my gosh. That, I mean, it was crazy that, that coming into an offense like that. Um, and we were already a post out offense. So, like, you know, growing up, you know, watching football, watching the league, um, you know, we're running them same, you know, them same kind of plays. And, you know, with the people that we had on that offense, it's, it, it, was, it, it was damn near legendary, man. You know, just watching, yeah. you know, you, you, you want to make a play, then you're going to make your play, and then you know the next play, somebody else going to make it. Javid, Keenan, um, Shane, Jay Ross, Ricky Ross. You know, I mean, yeah, I'll say, hey, what? Hey, I was looking back, like, the only thing we was lacking was somebody to pass it to him. Them boy <laughs> was the key element. Hey, you know, we had four of them. You had, shoot, five or six. <laughs> Quarterbacks? Yeah, bro, it was ugly. Hey. <laughs> Like, you, can't, you can't be successful. Look, I don't want to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still, hey. still managed to uh, damn near crack top five one year. I think that was uh, yeah, yeah. Four nine, you know, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, we, got his, we got as high as number two. For, yeah. like, 30 minutes, we was number one. And, and I then, that then next day against Oregon State, you remember? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Then we didn't, yeah. then we didn't win a game after, bro. We finished that thing. We were 6-0 and oh and finished that thing – Seven and five or whatever it was, it was tragic. Yeah, they was they was the other schools was calling me. It was like Oregon and and all the Arizona State was like, you sure you want to go there? Like, uh, I know you committed, but you know you could rescind it. Yeah, 
I'm like, I think I'm good. I think I'm cool. Did yeah, you, did yeah. you take a visit to Arizona State? No. I did. It was lit, boy. I was, like too, a I, was too, I was too turned back then. So yeah. I was like, I know, like I was thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, they losing. So I was like, man, let me go to let me go to Arizona State. I had my boy uh Omar Bowden over there. Um I had a couple of a couple of my homies over there. Um Paul Unger. I think, yeah, I had the Unger over there. And I'm like, nah. I said, nah, I can't, I better not. But I I took my I took my recruiting trip to Oregon and then Cal after that. So I took my when Oregon, when they played against Cal, Cal won late. You remember when these, Yeah, absolutely. Hey, it was hey, it was it was, it was so was that was that the home game or away game? It was a away game. It oh, was, that was a away game. D Jack, hey, D Jack made went. made a little safety or whatever he was, bite on the outside. He bro, he's on he's on the uh he's on the sideline with no space. He gave him a little hezzy and took off on the sideline, skipped on buddy. I said, I, I Oh was, I was in I was in my Oregon stuff, you know what I'm saying? Going, oh. <laughs> I seen that, I was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go there next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, what? Let me go to the other side. Like, <laughs> the other side. Oregon was dope though, but I was like, y'all can't fool me on this rain on this rain shit. They were like, no oh, man, it hasn't it hasn't rained here in like in like three months. I'm, I looked at my pops like, come on now, they lying. Absolutely. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to start off the top, man. Like, man, you know we bought the legacy. We got legacy on legacy top of type. legacy on top of legacy on the pile right now. Nah, you nah, talking nah. about senior, we got junior. He yeah. got the third in this thing. Huh? I got the third in this thing. Yeah. It's just off the big levels, off the big legacy, oh, other levels, okay. other trust. That's the only way. That's the only way. You already know. But more, I mean, just, I mean, that's the reason why, you know, you know, that you talking about toughness, you know, growing up with uh, Olympian dad as a wrestler, you know, you get in a lot of holes that you can't get out. So you got <laughs> to fight. You got to crawl. Hey, you got to do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm scratching eyes. I'm, I'm trying to hey. do anything to get out of that thing. Hey, so most folks wrestle with their pops and stuff. And it's just like a little fun. Like your pops yeah. really like rolling over the backs, like, <laughs> hey, no. lock, like, boy, had him in a triangle hold. Like, <laughs> like you good? Dad, I'm six. No, 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 no. I thought you said so. Forget six. I'm three. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, God dang, bro. Yeah. Not, that's, not, why, that's why you tell them not to let their light skin fool you, huh? You really bought that. Like, I've been in some holes like, and I could get out of it real quick. And I, what? It's, it's, the best thing is don't even get into it. I'm not even going <laughs> to get into it. <laughs> yeah. Did you play like other sports like growing up? Like, did you ever try to tap into wrestling? Like, 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 what hell was no. It? I, I did it one time when I was I was I think I was nine years old. My dad he was training. He was he was a sheriff, so he he was training for the the police the police games or the sheriff games. You know what I'm saying? He was, I mean he got number one just tossing everybody. Um, but I, as he was training the 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 place that he was training at, the dude the owner he had a son. The son was nine years old too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm over there watching my pops and my my dad's like, come on, go let's let's go wrestle, let's go try. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm, I was with it, you know, because mm -hmm. I was, you know, so um, I go, we get in a couple holes, boom, boom, and he was small, he was looking smaller than me too. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to get him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he put me in this hole and I was in like five seconds. My dad's like, hey, you got, you got to get out. You got to get out. Man, I sucked the shit out of him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we about to box today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you probably could beat me in wrestling, but I'm, I'm going to give you this uppercut. Yeah. What you say, Cam? I yeah. came and for these oh, hands. Oh, hey, look, look, sons and four. Yeah. I woke up with his violence. I came for these hands. Yeah. So that, that's, all I, that's all I knew. Like, you know what I'm saying? With my cousin and stuff like that, it's like, we we fight. We, we catch friendly phase. We do all that stuff. Yeah. So, like, I, I reverted back to, like, I wasn't trained. He was trained at wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I started, I started, I started fighting. He didn't fight back. Just he, like your boy. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to fuck your boy up. Sons no and doubt. four. Sons yeah. and four. <laughs> No yeah, so, so I, I, got, I got him pretty bad, and, and that was my first and only wrestling, my wrestling trial. So, um, you know, I failed at it, but I but I stayed good with the hands. Shit, but yeah. you did you did everything else though. Hey, you played. Look, you you played basketball. You're hoping. Hey, hoping. Hey, run hoping. track. I definitely. I didn't run track. Not, I think that's on. That's the only thing that I think. You know, when I look back, I'm like, dang, I should I should have ran like. You would have probably elite 400 bro, wait, meters, yeah, yeah, 200 Mark, meters. Mark. Mark, we talking about his sister, bro. Cold track runner, ran. Is she a runner? She a track like over over there oh, at USC. So we got the big like genes, that. big legacy. Like that. Man, give us the rundown of fam, bro. Like you, you, you I, holding out on the play, him, right? Pops, you know, pops. He was, you know, he he wrestled at uh, Cal State Bakersfield and was one of the, you know, the best uh, wrestlers, you know, dang, of damn near all college time. So mm. like, 
Um, legendary. Le- legendary, you know, so um, he did that. You know, he didn't, he uh, didn't play, he didn't, he played football, but um, he wanted to wrestle in a tournament in his last tournament or whatever. So he kind of like, he was like, nah, you know, he had offers. He was like, I want to go wrestle. So, you know, he did that. Um, so when you, I mean, you, me, so then, uh, you know, I, I did my thing. My little sister, Vanessa, uh, she's a, she's an eight time all American, uh, oh. USC uh, track runner, 400 oh. going crazy though. You know what I'm saying? And remember when, when, you know, I was in college, I used to drive to Fresno where they had the state championship. And, you know, this was her first year. She made state, you know, in a freshman, as a freshman in high school. So, um, you know, from then, you know, she found that to be a passion for her. So, uh, she went, she went, uh, USC, um, broke all the records. I think she was like number two all time. in um, in the 400, like right above Allison Felix, mm. uh, you know, at the end of her, at the end of her career, she got to, uh, you know, to race Allison Felix at the uh, Olympic trials. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so she did that thing, trained to Arizona and, you know, kind of, uh, let, kind of let it go, but she was a uh, she was a uh, she was one of the goats of the four hundred goats. Dang, that's oh, that's le- I love it. I love when the gene pool heavy. Yeah, so I love like, when the gene pool heavy. Oh, definitely. So me looking at her, me looking at her, I'm like, dang, you know what I'm saying? I should have tried the four hundred and stuff like that. But I was you, I, I was you a rock. Four hundred. You got four hundred. <laughs> build. You look yeah. like you would come hey, down that back stretch hey, just oh, oh, running oh, something back. down. Hey, you facts, know what I mean? bro. Hey, you got long stride, bro. Hey, but when you think about it, like, hey, that boy was focused on basketball, though. Hey, when I tell you, he came in, bro. We used to play at the rec, and my man was playing one through four. Like, he he was really trying to post up. The one, like, the two. If you don't get your, get if post. you don't get your two oh five having ass out here, but he was, hey, really like that. Hey, post <laughs> post moves, huh? Post Fake moves. right, huh? Fade away, up and hey, under. Hey, 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 tell, hey. tell us about that that Edawanda transition, bro. Like, like you came in strong. And you so you like, yeah. Where, where you like, from, man. though? Like, where you from? So I'm originally from uh, Long Beach. I was born in Long Beach, California. Um, moved uh, all around um, from the IE. That's what I call it, IE in, in the empire. You know what yeah. it is, IE stand up. <laughs> um, uh, went to, uh, lived in Santa Ana uh, in Orange County. Uh, that's where my pops is from. My mom's from uh, South Central Los Angeles. Um, after, after Orange County, we moved to Fontana, California, where I went to Etiwanda. Etiwanda High, all my boys at the E. You out know, there. Where, and Rancho Chukamongas. Hey, hey, That's why I'm the king around here. Rancho Chukamongas. Hey, honestly, I got paid for. Paid for. Paid. Yeah, so, so Let yeah. Let take I, you to the backyard. <laughs> no, it's bigger than yours. <laughs> I, I, moved, I moved around a bit, but once I once I settled up in the IE, um, shoot, it was it was all good. That was at the time where everybody from LA and like down, like the down, uh, you know, down out west started you know, moving, moving towards uh, the IE in the empire where the houses was bigger and then they was cheaper. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Get so, more bang for your buck. Yeah, it you makes know, too much sense. We went out there and, 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 and the rest was history, man. We went crazy. But uh, yeah, I started off uh, really, I started off, you know, playing football and then I played basketball after that. Um, I was, I was, I was a part of the, one of the best um, travel basketballs, the uh, ball teams, um, in the world, man, like, like we, are you talking about like 200 something, 275 and two, like mm. that, that's our record. Mm. I, I, was there. Uh, I played for the inner stars. Um, there was a lot of uh, guys that rode through there, Tyson Chandler, all these, all these people and stuff like that. So once um, I played there um, and once they started traveling and doing all this stuff, I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to yeah. keep going around. I just want to be a kid. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, yeah. Kind of stop playing basketball. I think the AAU you know, a- circuit is heavy on a young bull, it's man. It's crazy. I couldn't do it. They were like, you know, we could you could talk to this coach. We we got Coach K on on dial. You could talk to like, where, where do you want to go? You could do whatever you want. They talk. They want to. They want to hold me back and stuff like that. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh. I said, nah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, I got yeah. friends. I got my friends. I mean, if I, you hold me back, I gotta I gotta move out of this thing. So right, it, was, right. it was a good experience, you know. But um, I, I I stopped playing basketball until I got to high school. Now, I mean, if anybody. If, Anybody doesn't know about Etiwanda, you know, um, you know, it's one of the best programs in, in the nation. You know what I'm saying? There's always, always top five, top 10 in the whole nation. Um, you know, and you couldn't, at that time, you couldn't say the same for football. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. We'll, get, we'll get back to that, you know, when I, when I stepped in. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I was, uh, you know, playing at Etiwanda. Um, my first couple of years there, I was like, man, forget football. I'm, I'm going to be a hooper. Like mm. our stage was big, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Freshmen, you know, we had we, it was it was stacked. You know, our our varsity 
We had people like Darren Collinson and Jeff Pendergraft, who Jeff later Jeff Aries. I mean, all all NBA players. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Um, so that's what I was like. I was like, dang, I'm, I'm a, I'm one of the, the best on my, on my squad. And, you know, I, they brought me up, you know, and they didn't, you know, coach Clegg, he really don't do that. Um, mm-hmm. so they brought me up and I'm like, shoot, I'm gonna play basketball. You know what right, I'm saying? I right. had sophomore year. I was one of the best sophomores in the state. And I'm like, shoot, you know, uh, uh, people, there was interest of all, like offers about to start rolling in. I see Arizona state. I see, I'm like, Oh, I'm dropping, I'm dropping 25. I'm like, Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm put up numbers. And then, and then my junior year in football came, and it was, it was over. It was over. I, I shot up, was number three in the nation, uh, wide receiver. I'm like, yeah, this, this was my first love. So, so you, you, you getting offers on the court, balling on the court, putting up 25 points a game, one of the best in the state in your class, and you just scratch it. You say, no, nah, I'm going up top pork chop. Yeah, you know, yeah. making the most out the post. You know what I mean, huh? Was, I mean, my football in football, like when I was a freshman, we was undefeated, but our varsity went 0 and 10. You know what I'm saying? So it was, so it was like ah, you know. So my sophomore year, I went up to varsity. I went, I was all, I was all, all league, all CIF and stuff like that. And I was, ah, it's cool, but it, hey, I mean, my bas- that basketball, we on the biggest stage, you know. And I'm, yeah, from, yeah. you know, what I'm saying like I could, I could, I could go to, I could easily go to college playing basketball. And then I'm like, you know, like like Cam said, I'm literally I'm guarding the one, the two, the three, four, and five. If you seven yeah, foot, yeah. I'm coming from football. So yeah, like yeah. we we used to we used to think we used to call it like red. Marvin, go red. Like if I'm red, I mean I'm sticking to you. I ain't yeah. helping nobody. If you seven foot, I'm a bully. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but elbow I, in the low back, like back up. At the end of the day, I was six two. You know what I'm saying? And right. I wasn't the one, and I was barely a two. You know what I'm saying? The three, right. I'm I'm a you know. I'm going crazy, but the, but now I mean, shoot, you you look in college and in the, in the NBA, it's like number two, they they six six six. six seven. I'm saying two so, two uh, shooting guards really six four and above now, boy. Right, yeah, right. You know. there, so there there was just that like, there was no way. So after my sophomore year, I was like, uh, after my junior year, I was like, yeah, I'm not even gonna go back. Like you know, what I'm saying, which I wish I would have go went back and and won some some titles and stuff like that, but. I mean, you know, I ended up solid. It worked out, it worked out good for right. you, man. It worked out real good. Hey, he was a four-star recruit. Stop playing with him. Hey, look, put some respect on his name. All American. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, you look going for going for thousands of yards in high school. You feel me? Just putting back thousand thousand yard seasons and shit. Like it was just, yeah. it was just so what's casual. your stoop? What was your stupidest game in high school, bro? Like when'd you go to dumbest? Like you had a six hundred yard game with seven TDs. Like what you had? Bro? My stupidest game, I think it was probably like. Um, I had three TDs, probably three TDs, 200, 200 some yards, 190. You know what I'm saying? I had, it's, it's crazy because I had stupider games in the, in the league, which is, yeah. which is, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I think that was my, that was my game. I did one, one, I did like 190, two tugs and one half. Stop playing in a half? Yeah. So. And a half boy sat down like I'm in a half. Yeah, we good. So like, I think I think that's probably was my stupidest. Uh, OC game. coming there talking about we making adjustments. What adjustments? Yeah, I, oh, I, I am the, the adjustment. I am the adjustment. And I'm I, open. So there was no telling. <clears throat> there was no telling me nothing. Like I'm looking up. Like I I called a he called a play. I'm looking down at the screen. I'm looking up. I'm like I'm cu- I'm cussing. I'm cussing him out. I'm like no yeah. you. We gonna change the damn play. This yeah. will be running. Boom. Yeah. 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 Hey, my, I, like yo, 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 your playmaker thing flashing. You know oh, yeah. what I mean? I need every pass, every throw. It don't matter well, where hey. it's at. I'm catching it. Well, hey, you know, hey, he he like he like that NBA jam. That boy, that ball was on five. If you go his way, you know he's I'm good. on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot that thing from the from, from the half court. Nothing but net. Yeah. Shot bang bang bang. bang. But that, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy because like when I think about, I think back on that, and then I think of. Like some of the stuff I did in the league, it's like I'm like, dang, I'm still doing, I'm still doing the same thing. Acrobatic like, ass catches, still, for- hey, still making the same noises. Got him. If I'm making a noise, that means like, hey, DB, oh, lit. you gotta watch, you gotta watch out, bro, because I'm. In college, when did you know you was going to the league? I know you came in like, yo, I'm three and out. Because I remember we talked about that shit. Yeah, like, I did. I did. I was like, DJ went three and out. I came here. I'm look. For the same yeah. spot, like I'm, I'm three and out, and then you got injured one year. It was a little derailed, but like when did you yeah. know you was like really going to the league and you was like that. I think, I think it was like you know some people know early. I know, I know you, you, you knew early. You know what I'm saying? Just because I think when you look at your position, 
and you look at your position, especially when you come when you come in and you see those guys, and you know what I'm saying, and they go like me. It was never it was never my thing that like when I was in college, when I was in high school. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to college most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this and I'm be the best. Like I kind of I kind of just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Just because I knew I knew I knew I was the best. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just one of I'm here to have fun and do and just go ball and have fun. That's yeah. that's what I you know what I'm saying. So like in high school when I seen other people. You know what I'm saying? That like when I'm a sophomore and stuff like that, I'm killing them in yards and, and touchdowns and stuff like that. I see them go to go D1. I'm like, okay. You know, now the now the colleges are coming to my practice and stuff like that. And I'm a sophomore. I'm like, okay. I say, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to college. And then, so I think it's kind of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So the people in front of me or the people that, that just went to the league that I watched their film and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm better than them. So like, so I, and they're going, they're going, they're going to the league and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna go to the leagues, but I, but it was, but me, it was always about enjoying the moment. You know me, Kim, like, I just want to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I want to have fun, do my work. I got my family. I just want to have fun in that moment. And I know that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So like, it didn't happen the way I wanted it to happen. You know what I'm saying? And you go back to the, like, the underrated and all that stuff, but I knew it was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think, I think that's when, and you know, when, when I was, I think it was my first, remember I got hurt my freshman year, Played only one game, didn't red, didn't red shirt. I was like, no, because I'm still getting out of here. <laughs> and then my second year, I came back and like I started going crazy. Like our first game, and I and I went up top. I went up top with a, like one handed touchdown, like on, on on a dude that went to the league. So I'm like, and then and then we go to UCLA. We go to UCLA. I got I get I get 100. I get like 98 yards in the first half on Alteron Werner and two touchdowns on him. I'm like, oh yeah. Uh, I was like, and he and he went to the league. I'm like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm like, like that. I'm like, like that. I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that, that what, I think my best game, I think, was at UCLA game because I was back home. Everybody in my family was there. Every all my teachers were there from from class and stuff like that. I mean, you you talking about 45 minutes up the road, like. That, I think that was my that was my like really coming out game and stuff like yeah. that. But so, yeah, so you go to Cal, you ball out at Cal, you get the opportunity to get drafted by the Bengals. You play bro, fifth with, round. Hey, they really hold my boy, bro. Hey, fifth round. Was hey, you said underrated, bro. You said underrated. Oh, I, you know? I, 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 I killed everybody. I was the best receiver. I was the best receiver. One of the best offensive players at the Senior Bowl. I was a late ad. They were like, ah, let's just let's just add him. You know, he didn't really have a lot of quarterbacks, and let's just add him. I came. I'm with Ru- I'm with Russell Wilson, Kellen Moore, and Kirk Cousins. I'm like, man, I ain't never, I ain't never, yeah. talk, never talked about. Yeah, like, you ain't never seen the ball spinning like this, huh? Seen it spin like that. So I went and I went stupid. I went stupid over there. So then they were like, okay, man, like we, you know, she, they were like, shit, he could be like a, a, a second round, second to third round. He won't drop. You know what I'm saying? All all the draft people said that. Lies, and, lies. <laughs> lies. The lies they tell. Lies, bro. I'm I'm in there sick. I'm in there. It was, it was just some. It was just some bull crap. Did, did you uh how how was your combine like No, in fact, before we get there, bro, we gonna talk about college, Mark. Oh, yeah. We gonna talk, we, we, gonna talk look, we gonna talk about college. Cause yeah. bro, hey Mark, you know, now we saying in college, bro, like I had I'm not saying I had the coldest mouthpiece on the team, but your boy was nice with the wordplay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if there but... were if, if there was Drake and, and everything that you know is smooth, I was right there. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't dressing the flyest, but my bars was heavy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hey. hey and I would be, look, I'd be talking to a girl. You know, we may be Black Wednesday. We may just be kicking it. Talking to a girl, I got her ear. Like, all she sees is the heavens. You know what I'm talking about? She like, this man is going to be mine. I'm I'm up here. I'm whispering in the ear. Light, sweet you know, nothings. Like, yeah. like, sweet nothings. Deal is sealed. <laughs> Marv come by. Who yeah. He out here singing. She said. He's singing his ass off. He cha-cha slide. He immediately plummeted to the depths of hell of despair. Like, why am I with this dude looking at yeah, him? She, she like, I'm like, who is him? Focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, at that point, they playing, they playing, they playing pretty Ricky. They playing R and B. So I'm like, dang, I, I had, a, I had a few drinks. Yeah, you know? light skins was in then, huh? <laughs> hey, 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 don't trip, hey, light skins. <laughs> but shoot, they playing my, they playing my song. I'm just, I'm just turning up and I'm singing and dancing. So like. Damn that the music turned off and Marv got, Marv got a full hey Marv got full solo. My man, hey, my man out here giving you Chris Brown vibes to the fullest. He's singing, dancing, going a cappella. Ain't no music playing no more. Now, now hey, girls just out here like this. My ain't. My ain't. Yeah. 
<laughs> who, who is him? I like yeah, who him. is him? And Marv like, so here's Marv, Marv the third. Please leave me alone. I don't want no issues. <laughs> well, I had a whole uh, full blown baby. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> About that time, I, I got go. I had two. Then, then my senior year, I had I had two babies. Like, yeah, what's up, y'all? Huh? Yeah, it is me. <laughs> yeah, big seeds, boys. Uh, yeah, they the college times, man. I said, look. You you got the recording studio now. Were you recording back in college? Did I miss that? Like you wasn't you I, wasn't pushing weight like that in the college, I wasn't were you? Not much when I was. You remember we did that song with uh, Amadi, you know, because Amadi was Oh Amadi on the beats. Boy, yeah. I forgot about that. Which one was I, that? I, songs. I, 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 I remember I was like in oh eight. Remember we had remember they played that bear territory song that we had? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, hey, the, I'll say the only Amadi beat I remember was uh was was Chaco Taco or some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, like so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we had. I had, I had a couple. I had a couple songs that I did with Amadi. Yeah. We, had, we had like a song called Bear Territory because that's that's what that's what we did. I mean, that nah, was. Like, hey, no, nah, there, there was a, there was a Amadi song, bro. You you really ripped, and I was like, oh, he got vocals for real. I just don't remember how it goes, bro. Like you show. Remember either, bro. But I know it was cold. I be. I'm like, damn. If I, hey, I'm. Uh, I lost my damn my damn uh, Generation One iPod, man. I'm like, damn. That's it. Had oh man. Oh, the oh, hit. That Generation One, that, yeah, that, oh, that, that had, you had millions of songs on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brick, hey, that big brick, Brick Squad. Brick Squad, yeah, <laughs> sir, yeah, sir. Yeah. So those of you who don't know, we talk, we talking about songs, it's because my dog Marvin is a real vocalist. Like, we ain't just talking about, like, playful, like karaoke, even though he hey. do do that to the, with the no best doubt. of them. Hey, talking about my dog really sing. Really, really, My really. dog really auditioned for American Idol now. Hey, like, stop playing. I be trying to tell folks, I'm like, Mar really can sing, sing. Like, and not one of them auditions where it's like, yeah, like, I could have went up Thanks there for, for coming that. here. You know what but I mean? Like, like hey, do you want to go to the next like, round? Like, no, I got to go. Yeah, you, we know you have a game next Sunday. Next Sunday. Can, can you come back? <laughs> like, hey, we I'll know say, you play in a week, but. <laughs> they really did. They were like. It's your bye week, but can you play? Can they, you come they, sing again? About none of that. They're like, yeah, so, um, yeah, we'll see you in, uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, I can't. No, <laughs> well, in the off season, yes, you can. Man, tell us about that, Mar Marvin. Tell us about that, bro. That was it. Was a great experience. Like, like what? Like what made you do that? Like I don't even know what how you that mean? goes. Like, but hey, I'm texting they, him the whole time. Do they time. invite hey. you? Hey, or I'm texting like. like no, he turned that shit down like at least I twice. Think. Like no, I don't want to do it. I want to do it. Don't get your little like. Remember, it was after I played the sinks. Yeah, it's after I played both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, after our game. Um, they, they came and I'm like, they're like, okay, um, you know, it's your bye week, you know, we're in Nashville. Um, and it was a thing cause you know, American Idol was they, 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 this was their first time coming back within, I mean, what, like the last 10 years or whatever. I don't know, but it was their first time, you know, coming back. So they wanted to come, come in with a bang. Um, so they, uh, hooked up with ESPN and ESPN, um, hit me up like, Hey, um, we have an opportunity, like, you know, um, would you want to go on American Idol and stuff like that? And like, we just lost, we were fresh off a loss. Like, and you, you know, like, no. yeah, you're like, man, I ain't trying to hear none of like, that. No. Like, I said, I ain't doing that shit. I said, no, no way. Like, why he <laughs> calls me, agent calls me, hey, Mar, it'd be a good opportunity. Nah, not doing it. The doing worst it. thing to ask somebody to do something after one of them L's going into a bike, like, I ain't trying to yeah. talk to nobody. Like, so, like, so that happened. And then, like, um, when I'm on the, I'm on the plane home and stuff like that, and I'm thinking, I'm like, dang. I was like, I might as well, you know what I'm saying? I remember American Idol first came out in the early mm -hmm. 2000s. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I said, I think I should do it, you know, because it was always on a, a bucket list of mine, you know, when I was younger. So I'm like, man, yeah, like I'll do it and I, let's start this thing off. So um, they flew me and Jazzy uh, to Nashville, uh, flew us to Nashville and, you know, prepped us and did all that stuff. And they were like, OK, we, we we're not going to tell the judges until like after. Um, and stuff. So I did my, I did my, I didn't wait. You know, I had the express line, you know, me and, you know, Ryan Seacrest, he, he came and grabbed me and, you know, we mm. walked, you know, we hey, put up a show. Special I'll guest say, appearance. Hey, I'll say, what, what song do you sing? I mean, I remember, I just remember there was, there was Lionel Richie out there. I was like, that boy singing in front of Lionel. Yeah. <laughs> I sang, uh, I can't make you love me. So mm. yeah, I, I sang that. And man, give uh, us a, give us a bar from that thing, man. Give us, how, how, how you popped it off? Oh, oh no, Mark Idol, man. How you popped it off, man? I can't make you love me if you don't. You can't let your heart feel something it won't. Came, I came in like that. Marvin! I came in like that. Hey, Yo, hey. Marvin! 
in the flesh. When did you develop your love for singing, though? Like, like I know you like, like, we know you grew up in a church. Like, yeah, that voice alone so tells me in you the choir, in, church. in the youth choir, yeah, so, going, going hey, dumb. So, much people, uh, my, my, uh, my, my whole mom's side of the family, they, they sing, you know what I'm saying? So, my mom, she sung, her twin sister, all my uncles, you know, they, they, they sung. So, I wouldn't, I didn't develop the love for singing until I got older. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when you know when you in the church, boy, get up there! Yeah, yeah. You know, you were forced to sing. Like I was forced to sing. So a lot of times when I sung, I was I cried first, and then I went crazy. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So like I didn't. So like back then, I only sung when I was in the church. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And then like once I grew, once I grew up, and you know, you know, you start, you know, church hits you a little different. And then you, I feel like a like sometimes I felt calling like I gotta sing. Like yeah, yeah. I, you know they would they would they would ask me to sing just like they did when I was younger and stuff like that. But I was like proud. I was proud to sing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. it, it was you know once you get more mature, you know the you know the mean the meaning of like you know life and you know stuff like that. So yeah. you're drawn, you're kind of drawn to do something. You know. Mm-hmm. So I think I developed that love like I was probably when I went to college and I started recording stuff like you know what I'm saying started hearing my voice and like hearing people people and rock people, with it. and people react yeah. to your voice. Yeah. Women. Yeah. So I was like. So, <laughs> It was something different. It was something different. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you know, being up in the church and everybody, ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, catching the goats off in that thing. That's got- all. That's all I'm saying. Boy, it was really singing. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, I remember. I remember when he first got to uh, when he first got to college, bro. They threw up one of those little clips trying to roast my man. They're like, look at my man in this this box suit. He was on an all white suit, Steve Harvey style. But he yeah. got up, bro, and he was singing his ass off and just. I said, what are we making fun of him for? Like, what do we, I said, this boy sang, he sang. Right, like, right. Yeah. So, like, so the, ro- the rookie show wasn't no problem for you. They like, get oh, up no. there and sing, Marvin. That boy went the up there. Show, they, they already knew. And a lot of, a lot of, like, a lot of them didn't really know. Well, they, they knew, you know what I'm saying? Just because I had, like, did it on a couple, like, shows and stuff. But the rookie. Bro, is that, is that Yaya that was crawling on her back in the hallway? Bro, it scared the <laughs> hell out of me. Like, <laughs> You knew we were gonna have an appearance. Hey, look, hey, my man came out like the ring. My man was going on the backside. See you already. <laughs> Trust love was all hey, about hey, the kids. Hey, Uncle Cam, look, it's Cam. Come here. What, hurry up before I send you what off. What that little Relly? Yeah, it's Relly Rails. Yeah, what are young sir. buck? What happening with you? You good? He said it was good. He said you good. Tell him hit the oh the wall. I know they be on the TikTok vibe. Tell him good, good that. Dance. What dance she gonna do? Hey, no, oh, hey, God. Great. Hey, hey. What? What other way you know? Come on, come on. Yo, I see you, boy. Hey, my my mother, la mama, la mama, la mama, la Come on. Yo. Oh, get out of here. Oh, <laughs> we need Mariana. We need Mariana. Yeah, yeah, here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. So that's 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 the story of the of the singing and stuff like that. So like once I once I got to the you know I did a little bit in college and once I got to the league and I got like my own studio, then I really start you know doing it you know for fun. But you know you 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 serious when you're in there, you know. So Mark, Mark, but then he took it to another level, bro. And now he now he just doesn't sing his shit like in just English where I understand. He he, he hit him with the He really hit him with the. That's, you know, he, he took Marine to another level. Yeah, that boy yeah. be yeah, that boy really be out there, be out there singing that thing. He be mama. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, stop playing, boy. So yeah, so I, I do that now. So I'm I'm working on a a Spanish album <clears throat> right now too. And the that boy Spanish about to collab probably, with Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah about the to have Spanish a album is probably gonna drop before the before the R&B album. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, speaking of your bilingual, I know you love to travel, bro. You know we big travelers. You already what, know. What's your favorite? What's your favorite no. places, man? That you done been? I know you done been all. I told around. look. I told him I, I was gonna go half on him with on 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 the little uh the, the little Spanish. It was a whole Spanish little situation. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the carnival. Yeah. No, yeah. No, 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 in Spain, the one we were oh, talking about. Spain. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That never. Then the pandemic. The pandemic happened, and you know. <laughs> turned the pandemic to a band. Because you remember, I was, we were supposed to live band. in Spain for. We were supposed to live in Spain for six months, you know, and then like you know. You know, stuff happened. You know, we had a little, a little, fam- a little something in the family, and then the pandemic happened. So that, like, I was out, I was out in Spain the year before that, looking for houses, found a house, and and stuff like that. And then, you know, all that happened, and it just boom, it just went to shit. So, well, but hey, this still like, don't worry, don't worry. I would say, I would say, I would say, Spain right now is still, is still my my favorite, um, and just because like that's where I learned Spanish, and that's where, where I, where is I Spain? mean. It, Malaga, it's the southern Spain. So it's southern Spain. I love Barcelona and stuff like that, but southern Spain 
uh, is more rural. It's more like original. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's where I learned. Uh, I learned Spanish. Um, so Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The traditional, the Castellano, that the, the Spanish that nobody else speaks but in Europe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, <laughs> so yeah, so, yeah. So I say like that. That that whole like you know when you talk about you know Malaga, you talk about Granada, you talk about Sevilla. Like you know, it's a lot of history. It's a lot of history in those in those cities. You know, with the bullfighting and the you know flamenco and all that yeah. stuff. Like. Um, you know, I liked all, I, I loved all that stuff and, and the culture and, you know, seeing the Coliseums and stuff like that. Yeah. And Picasso, like the house where Picasso was born, like I was all up in there, you know, so like. So, um, so you went to Spain, you learned Span you learn Spanish there or do you take classes to learn it? Like, so I took so I was in Costa Quick story. I was in Costa Rica um, and this one I didn't know. I ain't no shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm in yeah. Costa Rica. Um, uh, Jazzy and her family was out there. They told me, let's just pull up, pull up. So I was like, I'll pull up, you know, and I thought, you know, being it being in LA and being in Southern California and stuff you know, like that, bit. like you pick up a little bit. You pick up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was in Santa Ana, like I grew up around probably like 98% Mexican. You know what I'm saying? It's before I moved to the IE. So like, you know, well, on you the West, hey, well, but you got to preempt, bro. On the West Coast, on the like, West side. I'm like, it's just 100. like, like, oh, he's Mexican. Bro, you get anywhere like, oh east God. of Denver and they'll be like, no, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm, I'm, Puerto hey, Rican. Like, I'm Costa Rican. Like, don't disrespect yeah, like, me. I'm like, yeah, like, bro, it's like max with? disrespect. So like, you know, where we from, we're in the West Coast, Arrasa. like, you know, Arizona and stuff like that, like in LA, you know, we're, we're around, we're around Mexicans. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, when I didn't know, I didn't know this until like I, till I actually started uh, learning Spanish, you know what I'm saying? It's just like so many, you know, there's, you know, Colombian, Dominican, there's, you know, Cuban, Puerto Rican, like um, Salvadorian, like yeah, everything. Right. So like, oh, there's if you, more. If you, yeah, yeah, there's so, so much yeah. more. So if you say, if you say like, hey, oh, like you're Mexican or we used to say speaking Mexican, like I'm speaking Mexican. Right, hey bro, we were, we were, it, it was super incorrect, like super it's incorrect. super in incorrect. I try, I tried to speak in Costa Rica, I tried to speak with the people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I, I don't know shit. And I'm embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, me and Jazz, I'm laying down. I got one eye open, you know, under the covers with my phone. And I'm like, how? Do, what's the best way to learn Spanish? Like very fast. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, you got to immerse through immersion. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're a kid, you're a child, you're immersed. So I'm like, man, I got to go to Spain. Because at that time, I was like, S -S Spain, that's that's where, that's the motherland of, of Spanish. Yeah. So I got to go there. I didn't know it was like a whole different, like, kind of dialect, you know what I'm saying? But I went over there, I said, Jazzy, I gotta go. I got camp in three weeks. I gotta go there for a week. You know what I'm saying? So I went out there my first time in Europe. So around went this out time, there. like July time, like yes, late. Yes, yes, yeah, bro. Went out, went out there boy was inspired. Look, I gotta go. I was inspired, bro. I was like, something told me I gotta go. So I went and um, I took uh, a full week, five days of classes um, and- In Spain. Um, in Spain, um, started at eight o'clock. It was eight hour classes. Um, Monday through Friday, you know what I'm saying? I missed one because I went out and and had <laughs> I had too many I had too many mojitos. So like yeah. I I went back I went back to the house around eight o'clock. So uh, <laughs> I missed one day. I missed one day. But like I went there, didn't know anything, couldn't even like they wouldn't even serve me my food. They wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? They're like, you know, see, we don't we don't speak we don't speak English and shit like that. And I'm like, damn, why am I here? But I was like, this is why I'm here because I gotta learn. You know what I'm saying? So. By the end of that, I was I was I was ordering food. I was telling the cabs where to go and stuff like that. Cause you're talking about eight hours of full, like, and they don't speak English in there. Like if I try to speak English, no. Like they spoke all Spanish. So I had to like, I had to like, you know, switch my mind to be like, man, I'm a blank canvas. So like whatever's happening is happening. You know what I'm saying? So like when I went back, I went back, I was like, okay, I have to stay immersed. So then now the season's starting. Now I gotta stay immersed. So I'm listening to Spanish podcasts every hour. Um I'm listening to um, reggaeton. I'm listening to music, reggaeton, and all this stuff. Like and like everything. Everything was all Spanish. Like I'm trying to write my notes in Spanish and stuff like that. So I went through camp doing that, and I went through that whole season. The 2017 season was, which was my best season. I went uh, just trying to learn Spanish. I wasn't really thinking about football like that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what that's what it, it was a good match because like it it got me to play free. You know what I'm saying? And I think of really think about anything when I'm on the field. I'm thinking about. I'm like, dang. This salsa move right here. Okay. Oh, boom, boom, <laughs> touchdown. Uh, got it. Okay. Um, now I'm singing in Spanish and stuff like that. So like throughout that throughout that year, that's what I did. I hired two. I stayed immersed. I hired two um, Spanish teachers. Um, one girl was from Madrid, and another dude uh, was from uh, Barcelona. I hired them, and I took classes Monday through Friday 
uh, for an hour for an hour a day. And then shit, that's that's how I did it. And then I, I started dancing salsa and bachata. And I started doing that in San Diego and I ended up meeting somebody that has been to Spain because I was like, I just want to keep going back to Spain. He was like, you got to go to Colombia. And this is, you, you know yeah, this, Mark, because yeah, yeah, you was, yeah, because yeah, you got some contacts. Meta, in Colombia. Meta, 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 yeah, so I'm, I'm in, so I'm like, Sue, what's well, you? I'll try Colombia, I'll try Colombia. And then I went to Colombia and then like had a great time during the World Cup and stuff like that. And end up meeting my best friend who was here in, in Miami, um, my boy Diego, and then after oh, yeah, that, I, I, I plugged you with the plug out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that no, next you year. see me. You see me on yeah, the trip out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That was the next year. That was like, I, I went to the World Cup in, 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 in Medellin. And then after that, um, two, I think it was two years later, I went to Carnival. Hey, I went to. Ain't nothing uh, like that World Atlanta. Cup out there in South America, huh? That's. Uh, it was. I, are you talking about 10? you going to talk about 10,000, 15,000 in Parque Jettas in the park? Mm, you ain't hey, seen it's that. Different. It's, that. Different. It's, it's different. different. it's different. It's different, boy. They touch the ball. They touch the ball and everybody's going crazy. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, but you can't you can't just be like, oh, I was I was doing bachata and had my best season. No, drop them numbers too, though. Eleven hundred yards reception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I Nine want... TDs. No, yeah, is, yeah. Hey, is that is that the one where you had the four TD game? Is that is that? No, that, was, that was uh that was uh that was in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, uh, that was two, two years ago. But I, I had yeah I had I had a four TD game in thirteen. Double back tied tied Jerry Rice uh in two thousand nineteen. I almost broke I almost broke it. Uh, this year, but I, I do I'll do it this year. I I, I know I'll do it. Again. Hey. Yeah, I, I went for I went for sixty I went for sixty catches, only sixty catches. And I and I was that was number eight. Eleven hundred yards. What, yeah, what's that? That, that, that's up top that's up top in the league, yards per catch. Yeah, yeah, I, I was number one in the yards per catch. That's big, was, yeah. big yak. Off, yeah, off a of, off a of hundred off a of hundred catches. So I'm like, look, you give me you give me a fraction of what these other dudes have. You give me you give me a hundred hundred eighty targets except for, yeah. uh, instead of a hundred and five. Yeah. Like, Give me 18 targets a game. See what yeah, I do. Come with on, it, now. Come it's, on it's, now. It's too, it's too easy, bro. So yeah, my like, dog, my dog been having great years. Long pro, true pro. Now you out there with Jacksonville. Got the young bull spinning the rock. How, how was yes, like how, how the young bull was in, in uh, your first impressions of him? Man, he man. Hey, he he looked good. Yeah. He looked good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not what I'm, it's, it's, it's not what I'm really hoping to hear. Actually, no, no, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent, like. <clears throat> Uh, that was, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll be lying if I said that was wasn't one of the reasons. Like I'm out here in Miami, and and like it's it's right there for our drive, 45 minute flight. Um, you know, and me, like a lot of people, and I didn't, I did say I was like, you know, I'm, I'll, I could go to a contender and stuff like that. But like, um, you know, like with me, it was about something. It was about something different. And then when I when everything started falling into place over there with Urban Meyer, and then shoot, uh, Coach Bevel, my my. The, my coach that I've been with for the last two years, he went there and I'm like, okay, it's starting to, starting to fall into, fall into place. You know what I'm saying? I got, they got the house in Miami and then I'm, they got the number one pick. I'm like, come on now. Like, you know I, who I, it I, is. I, I, we see, we've need seen it. Andrew, we've seen Andrew Luck, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We've seen, we've seen how that, you know, how that, how that type of, you know, stuff, you know, changes, changes an org organization or that type of player changes an organization. And you know what I'm saying? So like, it was it was an easy call, you know, and um, so it's going good, man. Like, hey, he's he's a playmaker. That's what he does. You know, he came he came in, and um, obviously, you know, with, with restrictions and stuff like that, like we can't uh, spend a we couldn't spend a we couldn't spend a lot of time, you know, out there with the window that we had, and they're still doing all these COVID protocols and stuff like that. But his first practice, he came like he's trying to make ways out of no way. He's thinking like thinking like a vet, like, okay, man, let me scramble here. And maybe he goes, he goes there, boom, like hit him. And like some in his ball placement, his ball yeah, placement yeah. is real deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, his, so, talent, hey, his, his, his route his, progressions, his, 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 hey, ball knowledge. Boy ain't play. All I, I know is boy ain't play. He was a freshman, you know? Boy ain't played not a snap. And he's already hit a hundred million dollar deal already on some. I said, like, like, I, I, and, I said, and, I said, I don't even know what an NFT. I said, freaks. what is a non fungible token, and how yeah. do I get some? Off the top, he, hey, he like off the top. Of some crypto, John. Yeah, too, like. yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, it's, it's cool. I'm, I'm be with him. I'm be with him in a couple of weeks. You know, we gonna, we gonna throw at him. Gotta, gotta, his gotta talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we, oh yeah, we, you know, hey, you say big trust. Hey, trust me. <laughs> we, <laughs> hey, we, we, we gonna, we gonna come up, with some, we gonna come up with some information. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> I need to know, like, what's your what, what's your favorite game that you played for? I think my best game overall, it has to be the two the two four touchdown games. And I've had some great games, like obviously in Lambeau Field, like you know they're glad I'm gone. 
the um, you know, <laughs> like all all that type, of, all that type, all all those games and stuff like that. But you gotta, I gotta go. Uh, 2013 against the Jets, um, eight targets, eight catches, 122 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, Bengals record. Then you fast forward. Efficiency at its finest, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Fast forward. Uh, uh, Minnesota Vikings. Um, eight catches, nine targets, four touchdowns. I mean, no, nobody does that, you know. So like, I think finest. those two, those two. I've had some great games, but those two. Um, I mean, there is it's, it's historic. So like you know, and I'm and I and I know I'm gonna get another one. I knew I was gonna get another one, and I did. And I know I'm gonna get another one, but then I got about three, four years left to do it, you know, and I'm gonna do it. So, yeah. hey, you know, Bev, Coach Bev, he'll be looking at this. You, you know what time it is. We talk about it. So, as, so as a uh, uh, admirer of music and a vocalist, what, what's in your headphones before you going for eight, for eight, for one twenty, and four TDs? Like, what, what's in the playlist? I know you on the salsa and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, are you I listening? Think, what you listening to, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm de- definitely. Oh, so I'm listening to Osuna. I'm I'm listening to uh, Anuela, A. Um, I'm listening to Maluma. Um, if I'm really, if so I'm Spanish really, music. yeah, if I'm really going crazy, I'm listening to Mark Anthony. I'm th- I'm I'm going OG. Uh, that or like or I'll be like, man, when I when I really when I really like went crazy, and on all levels, you know what I'm saying? I'm throwing it back. I'm listening to Jeezy. I'm listening to that. You know, I'm come on, man. I'm 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 listening to that Jeezy. Um, but right now, like I either do that or I'm listening to R&B. So whatever I sing, that's pretty much what I'm listening to. I'm listening okay. to R&B or I'm listening to listen to uh, Spanish music. So you listen like, to big, some- big Luther or Skinny Luther? Oh, I'm uh, all Lufas, Lufa, <laughs> hey, all hey, Lufa. Hey, so, so you get your echoes tape and, and you singing at the same time? Huh? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing all that. But the bad, the bad bunny, the bad bunny should go hard. So I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm. I'm doing that, like you know, easy. So, or or I just don't, or I just don't listen to anything. It's whatever I feel when I'm walking in there, when I walk in the locker room, whatever I feel. If I don't feel like listening to music, I don't listen to music. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the times, I'm just not listening to music. I'm just like, man, let me get out here and let's roll. You know? If you're not That's listening to music, does that mean like you visualizing? Like what that mean? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm just ready. That means I'm just like, 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 fuck everything. Mode. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna go out there. Mamba you know mentality, out yeah. there ready to kill. Yeah, something. and a lot of times when I do that, I don't even go out and warm up. I'm like, let, let's just, let, I'm just putting myself. Oh, on. that boy said prize bull yeah. style. That boy out there like, yeah. open the cage, open the cage. Right now, right now, we here now. Yeah, man. So that, so that's what it is, bro. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still doing the same things. You know, I've still got that energy for it. You know, and I, I still move the same. Um, and I'm just gonna keep being you like that. The, you like that. You ain't new to it. You ain't new yeah, to it. You, you already know it. And last thing before we get you out here, man, it's a few people that I salute. But you are a young drip lord. Like when did when did that fashion fashion come in? Like that's business high school. Was you was you? Yeah, I, I think it was since the two thousands. Well, I mean, you know, uh, through, through, with, with you know, that, nine, nine, nine nine the two thousands. The ninety eight to the ninety nine to the two thousand. When, when the, I was with the, the Dada. What I was I always I, wanted I to be a Dada. Dada. I was look. I was wearing seven x uh a seven x tall, five x tall. Down to the ankles. Uh, all you can see is a uh, white tee. And, 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 yep, in my tall tee, oh. having that ass. All you yeah, can see is I, white tee and forces. Can't even see the type of jeans. The, you I was got wearing on. the hardwood classics. The hardwood classics with the matching hat, half and half. Do-ray. Reverse though. Hey, I'm saying it, reverse. reverse though. Stop playing. Hey, hey fake Jacob. Uh, you know what I'm like, saying? Hey, 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 out the fake the Jacob, I, out the middle of the mall day. with it. Out the middle of the mall, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I was in, I was in seventh grade. It's, that's what it. That's what it for was. Sure, you know? sure, but man. I think I, I think it's just like you know I, I just kind of developed my own you know through through those times like you know growing up and stuff like that. I just I just started to develop my own style. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and hollering at the people that that are leading that are leading the fashion industry. Like you know I got. Um, you know, uh, I'm in a part of the the gene called Monfreyres with my boy Dan. His wife Tara is one of the runs one of the biggest uh, the biggest fashion uh, women's line. You know, everything in the world. I do, you know what I'm saying. So like I'm 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 into that. You know, and then um, you know I'm into my own. Man? Can I get the oh, I got can you. I, I got get you. The fall season, yeah, something. and, all, and <laughs> all the suits, and, and I'm and I'm doing kind of doing my own stuff with, with Musica. You know, you know, Alex. You know, you, yeah, yeah, I know. That's what that's I'm saying. Part. Yeah, you know, I admire so, like, you from a king to a king. You know what I mean? Yeah. From a lord to a lord. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. So we, like, we I'm got do, the I'm, same. You feel me? All you know time. So I'm doing that, and I'm doing I'm doing my own brand uh, with the BZN. So like, I'm 
I'm, I'm doing, yeah, I'm, I'm hey, doing, doing my big, own. Big, stuff. tell I'm, them about always, the BZN, I, bro. Tell I've me always about the BZN. It, I've always called it buzzing, but apparently it's just yeah, because I'm BZN like BZN. So BZN, so BZN is short for buzzing. You know what I'm saying? When you're buzzing, you stand on top, you stand relevant in everything you do. You know what I'm saying? And that's like that's fashion, that's that's work life, that's anything. So anybody could, anybody could, you know, conform to to that. So you know what I'm saying? When you buzzing, you buzzing. Like you know, you're on top, and nobody can nobody can hey. fuck with you. I've been, so that's, seeing that's BZN on, I've been seeing BZN for years on the post. Oh, so I'm like, the boy got I'm it like, on the hand and everything. I'm like, it, I'm like it's BZN. It's BZN yeah. over this thing. <laughs> hey, it, hey it, whatever you want is whatever you want it to be. You know BZN, you BZN, he saw, I just knew it was lit, whatever it was. Yeah. So I'm yeah, glad sir. to hear what it is. Buzzing. Yes, Big buzzing. buzzing. Staying on top man. and whatever you're doing. That's whatever life, that's football, that's career. That's everything. We on top. That's everything, bro. We you already know. Drop. And, and, and it, it ain't gonna, we ain't gonna drop and it ain't gonna stop. That's 100. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate your time. You know, time Go is Bears. Money. You know what I mean? Go, go Bears. Bears. Hey, yeah. hey, hey off, off, off of this one, you will get a Go Bears from me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so hey, That's what I'm saying. Salute. Go Bears. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, the Only because y'all don't pose a threat right now. But yeah, Go Bears. <laughs> hey. We've been blessed. Me and my co host, Cam Jordan. My brother from another mother, we bringing in another brother from another mother on the pod, the Marvin Jones Jr. Son to the senior, father of the third, biggest of legacies, a man mm. of many talents. Of mm. course, he's one of the best wide receivers in all of football. Ever since back when, since back pimping, since back pimping, since Woo. been pimping. Damn, man. Yo, you know what I mean? A true paid vocalist, paid paid. a true fashion icon. My mm. man speaks Spanish, does the cha-cha slide and all of that. <laughs> Taming bulls out there in Spain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He the coldest. He ain't new Dollars to it. Dollars or pesos. Marvin yes, Jones Jr. Okay, we appreciate yeah. you on the big trust <laughs> levels, my dog. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Much love all day. You already know. Oh, you are big time. You see that fireplace in the background? That's big time. Yeah. Say he, he say he underrated, but not to the league. That boy been getting that bag. I like to call him Money Bag Marvin. <laughs> <laughs>